Hello. Tonight we're gonna play through the final chapter of Living World Season 1, the Battle for Lion's Arch. Scarlet is deploying a massive construct in Lornar's Pass, so that's where I need to go. I'm just gonna travel through the Gengdarn fields. Fun's over here. So, something I haven't mentioned yet is that I've been uploading recordings of my streams to my YouTube channel, which is linked in my About Me section on my channel page, and I'm working on getting accurate captions on those. Welcome to my world!
and when I say I'm working on getting accurate captions, I'm typing them up myself. That's very similar to what I do for my day job, and uh, the automatic captions are pretty atrocious sometimes. I feel strong. Kill them all. Oh, whoops. This is Snowden Drifts. But I can also get to learn our pass from here.
here we are. Rams heard something about a weapons test. Who's this? Timey here is a little bit obsessed with Scarlet. That energy field's calibrated to teleport living matter. It's safe. Really? Go! Get into high gear. Through that energy field. Forward. Double time. You don't have much dignity, do you? It's okay. Your humiliation will end soon. Okay, this is a pretty fun fight. You should know Armored up! That's one puppet chain on hooks to fail. Keep the enemy back. I, love how you think you're I did try to dodge moves. that. Strength of the pack. Two chains down. Only 
a few left. Keep our enemy off kilter. Strength of the pack. on the offensive.
We heal as one. That was fun. I actually thought we might not win against that thing. I'm starting to think Scarlet doesn't care whether she wins or loses against us. What does that mean? She doesn't fight like she wants to win. She sacrifices her weapons to take some of us out. It's like she's culling the herd. Our herd. Yeah, Tyria's defenders. What do you think about those devices she's left around? We don't know that Scarlet dropped those off, do we? Who else? I keep waiting for one of them to explode. Or spout toxins like the Tower of Nightmares. You can stop worrying. They're not offensive. They're probes. She's looking for something. Or open up and spew dredge into the surrounding area. Whatever they are, I'm convinced they're dangerous. <sighs> Nobody ever listens to me. Did you hear about the worms acting up in Blood Tide Coast? Someone was saying something about that. You gonna go check it out? Nah. I'm so tired, my pillow's already snoring. Mine too. Soon as we're done here, Bram and I are heading back to Lion's Arch. Yeah, I'm starving. We'll meet you there. Kazmir, you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Don't worry. You're a child. You're a super genius. What are you doing out here? Who are you with? I'm not supposed to talk to nosy strangers. Where are your parents? Dead. Uh, okay. Well, you're obviously a long way from home. You, you come with me. By whose authority are you ordering me around? By the authority vested in me by Queen Jenna of Divinity's Reach. Now come with me. I'm not going with you until I know where you're taking me. To Lion's Arch, then to Radasun. You've got no business out here on the battlefield. Are you paying the waypoint fees? Yes. Now come on. You seem like a pleasant enough travel companion. Come on, Scruffy. This nice human is taking us home.
What's next? Priory has found a concealed lair belonging to Scarlet. So, next thing we're gonna do is check that out. It's in the caves right by the Priory. Strong! Okay. I'm gonna need to have a look at these journal fragments. Note the capital letter in the middle of a word. Those are important.
What? What is this? Well, it looks like a map. Something to do with ley lines, I think. And in, in any case, we are going to Lion's Arch next. Do you have a moment? Soldier, report. Where's my Tequaddle tail? Back where I'm bunking, sir. I'll go get it immediately. Wait, you took down Tequaddle? As reported, sir. I sent you a missive requesting an audience. Yeah, uh, been busy. I'm here now. Should I go get the tail and bring it to you, Tribune? No, I don't need a slab of decaying meat. But I... I've been hauling it around for weeks. Ooh, I bet that smell sticks to your gear. It does. I've been hearing about this Scarlet Silvari. Do you know anything about her? She's building an army, sir. She's the one behind the Molten Alliance. So I heard. I want you to take her down. Permanently. Whatever the cost. You do that, Rox, and you're in the warband. What? I, uh... <sighs> I need to repeat myself. No, Tribune. Consider her dead. Report to me when it's done. And, um, Rox, be careful. Will do, sir.
Listen, you won't believe what Ritlock just said. If I kill Scarlet, I'm in the warband. Definitely. Oh, I see. What's the matter? I thought you'd be happy for me. I just don't understand why you need some warband you don't even know. I mean, you got me. And we've got a team of our own. Look around. They're all here with you. <sighs> it's a char thing. You wouldn't understand. A char thing? You'd rather be in your fancy warband than with people who've been beside you all this time? That's not what I said. It's a big deal to get into the stone warband. Why? Because it'll make you special? You're already special. At least to me. Uh, you'll still see me after I get in. Uh-huh. You will. Sometimes. Bram? Bram! We have to talk about it sooner or later. I have to go clean my gear. Bram! <sighs> There you are. Somebody care to tell me why this child was on the battlefield? Hey, I'm not a child. Not you. This is Surin girl. I found her out there trying to get to Scarlet's twisted marionette. Who does she belong to? Oh, her. Help! Help! Save me from this creepy human! It's okay. I'm a Crichton Seraph. The kid's in no danger. Bram! Don't let him take me away! Please! <gasps> are you her guardian? Who, me? Wolf's teeth, no. I've never seen her before in my life. Bram, you're so mean. Can't we just go home now? Listen, buddy, I don't know what your game is, but you better get this kid to safety. She's got no business on a battlefield. What? I swear, I've never seen her before in my life. Hey, where's he going? You're not my responsibility. It's okay, Bram. You can take me home now. I live in Rada Sum. Huh? What? Where do you live? Maybe we could go there instead. No. You found your way here. You can find your way back. Fine. Here I go. By myself. Off into the big city. You'll probably never see me again, Bram. Good luck, kid. What? Marjorie, a word, please. I'll be right back, Kaz. Is Lady Kazmir okay? Yeah, she'll be fine. It's just been a rough day. Did you see that twisted marionette? I did. And I heard there are jungle worms erupting from the ground in Blood Tide Coast. That's because they're disturbed by Scarlet's seeking devices. I thought your Norn was taking you home. He is. He just doesn't know it yet. What does a little squirt like you know about Scarlet, anyway? As it so happens, I know a lot. I've been studying her for months. I came to meet her, but she didn't show up. To meet her? Why would you want to do that? Because she's brilliant, of course. My theory is that she knows something about the dragons, and that's why she's building an army. Your theory, huh? You don't think she's just a big old meanie? Do you always talk like a four-year-old? Hey, I've been meaning to ask you something. You wouldn't know anyone who goes by the initial E, would you? Just E? E? No, why? No reason. Just eliminating possibilities. How's the queen? I wouldn't know. The Shining Blade have her so tightly wrapped up I can't even get near her. Well, at least she's safe.
this letter's from Captain Keel. An alarm has been sounded at Fort Mariner. She's asking for backup. We heal as one. moment. Greetings. It all happened so fast. Scarlet's minions were everywhere. They had our backs to the wall from the very beginning. One of them broadcast Scarlet's voice. She said, Vacation's over, Mai. I have work for you in the mists. The invaders took Mai to a portal outside. They had to fight past a squad of Lion Guard to get there. 
and two strangers, a golem and a Nord lad with a fearsome mace. After Mai entered the portal, the golem went after her. The Norn shouted for it to stop, but it wouldn't. It declared, leave me alone, I know what I'm doing, and actually ran faster. Citizen. Oh, right. Surprised to find you sitting still, short pants. The way you took off, I figured you'd be halfway to Mount Maelstrom by now. Scruffy, my golem, Welcome. broke down. And I still learned more in the short time I've been here than you have in your whole life. What happened? Why did your silly magical machine man stop working? I was studying that strange device, but every time I got too close, it zapped me and knocked me back. Eventually, Scruffy's power cells shorted out, and pieces of him fell off. Excelsior. That activated his emergency mode. So he followed protocol, like he's supposed to. He carried me here, spit me out, and then powered down. And you've got a lot of nerve calling Scruffy silly, with those clothes and that haircut. So your golem's dead. Why don't you just walk out of here? Same reason you don't fly out, because I can't. My ears, how thick are you? See these legs? They don't work right. I can't walk very far unassisted. Uh, I, uh, sorry. I didn't know. What did you learn about those, um, things you were studying before your golem broke? As if you'd understand. All right, I've got nothing but time, so let's give it a go. They appear to be survey probes for the purpose of identifying high-energy thomic channels and matrices. So it's like magical that energy is a swirling storm, and these things are mapping it. A trifle simplistic, but yes, that's exactly the case. Okay, truth time. 
Why did you run away from me? Why did you come here in the first place? It's not personal. I just wanted to see Scarlet's handiwork up close. Her marionette was amazing, inspiring. When I saw her minions running through a portal, I followed them. You were supposed to stay with me. I told you to stop. Zosia tells me to do stuff all the time. So does Vorp. I don't listen to them either. What's your story anyway, hello, Tiny? Hello, hello. How does a little thing like you get into such big trouble? It's Tiny, what? and I'm a progeny prodigy. I've got important people fighting for the right to be my teacher. Important people, huh? Are they real people? Or just big-eared figments of your overactive imagination? They're real, but they all want to tell me what to learn. I'd rather be like Scarlet and pick my own courses. Wolf's tail, girl. Don't be too much like Scarlet, okay? One's way too many. It's probably good that Kaimi doesn't listen to Vorp. What? Tell me more about the probes you examined. They're well designed. They emit pulsed eldritch waves that register the relative strength of all local ambient magic. Like the way bats hunt? They let out a chirp and react to what that chirp bounces off of. Right again! I'm clearly a good influence on you. What do you think those probes of Scarlet's are looking for? Best guess? Uh, the transcendent magic channels that span the globe. Old-fashioned synergetics texts call them ley lines. Normally you can't see them or touch them, but they're real. Magic finds its own path, like rivers running to the sea. The probes are trying to identify the biggest and strongest of these ley lines, but I'm not sure why. Not yet. It wasn't me. So, will... Uh, what was your golem's name again? Scruffy. Will Scruffy work again if you get the stuff you need? I'd get it for you, but I can't leave you unprotected. You're sweet. And absolutely. I built him for maximum ease of maintenance. All he needs are some replacement parts. He may be rough around the edges, but when he's whole, Scruffy is as reliable as an entropic crystal regulator. Ah, that's good then. Right? Ram... Will you tell me a story while we wait? After you ran off on me? And all the abuse you heaped on me since we got here? I get plenty of that back in Cragstead. You don't spend much time around Asura, do you? We only abuse people we like. Or those we're trying to improve. Fine, I'll assume you like me. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was a brave and handsome Norn named Rem. Ah, I've heard this one already. From you. Twice. I'm just gonna go ahead and advance the story by talking to Timey. This ain't really my scene. Oh, hi. Did you know Scarlet attended each of the three colleges and that she worked with the inquest? Oh, and that she... If you believe the rumors. I talked with an Asura named Vorp, and he says it was all bunk. I'm inclined to agree. I know what Vorp says, but her twisted creatures weren't bunk. The Hollow Pirates either. Some Asura are just jealous. That's enough about Scarlet for now. Jormag's Tooth, you really need a new hero. Well, do something heroic enough and I might change my mind. This letter's from Jewelry. We need to go to the dead end and look at some stuff.
there. the sympathetic resonance, perhaps the power output can be boosted. Curtains here, linen tablecloths there, and a sign out front that says Delacroix Investigations. Or... Stop. No curtains. No tablecloths. And most of all, no sign. But... No. But... Okay, maybe curtains. But only if they're black. <sighs> I can see you're tired and cranky. We'll talk about it some other time. Rox, come in. Join us, please. Where's Bram? <laughs> He's dealing with that Asuran cub, his new friend. <laughs> it's nice of him to see your home. He's a good guy, that Bram. Yeah, he's all right. Long time no see. You should hear what happened. My friends at the Priory delivered everything they had on Scarlet. I also called in Vorp, the Arcane Council's point person. He's collaborating with us remotely. We need your help sifting through the evidence. We have our own theories. But we could use another opinion. These recordings were found near Scarlet's lab in Lornar's Pass. You should listen to them first. If I must. You've seen me through my awakening, Menda Saramon. Thank you. But I'm awake now, so you can leave me alone. Synergetics is endlessly fascinating. It seeks to define the eternal alchemy. The other colleges work within that definition. The potential of golems interests me. Combining dynamics design with static versatility makes just about anything possible. I like Teo. More importantly, I need to advance my theories quickly. And nobody's better at quick results than the inquest. Today will be monumental. With OMAD support, I shall finally see past this world and into the eternal alchemy. Scarlet rejected the Pale Tree because she wanted independence. What if OMAD's machine cost her that? The moles get magic, flame gets gear, and I get the weaponry I need. Everybody wins. Especially me. 
Lion's Arch needs softening up first. So we infiltrate its halls of power and neuter its defenses from the inside. The theme is humanity can withstand any test. It's like they're begging me to prove them wrong. It's laughable! <laughs> Air superiority wins wars, so build me a comparable fleet, or I'll kill you all and replace you with hollows. Once more, my esteemed snaky friend, you're doing this for obelisk shards. You want direct access to your profits, right? Then do as I say! Scarlet deceived each of her allies into thinking they'd gain something from working for her. Hmm. She'd make a great minister. Ever since I came out of Omad's machine, you've been taking credit for my ideas. They're mine, not yours! Let me be clear. I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing it for me. Nobody tells me what to do. Not ever! It's not true. None of it. I don't have to listen to you. Get out of my head! I wonder if the voices in her head are real. What if what she saw in Omad's machine grabbed hold of her? Ironic that she rejected the Pale Tree to exert her independence, only to lose it to something else. These other items are all pieces of the puzzle. Examine each one and let us know how you think it fits. I almost feel sorry for Scarlet after reading her journal. If only she didn't use Omad's machine, she might be a sane flower. Those are the ramblings of a crazy murderer. Make no mistake, honey. She enjoys killing. She needs to be found and put down. to select the correct dialogue option here. Scared? What could possibly frighten someone like Scarlet? She saw something while hooked up to Omad's machine. Something that broke her. She's hearing voices in her head. But what are they telling her to do? Hmm, that's a piece of one of Scarlet's probes. We theorize that this agitated the jungle worms. That's a puzzler. That's all you have to say? Okay. If you examine the steam creature closely, you can identify similarities to Scarlet's clockwork machines in its design. It's like she's modified the Watch Knights with the same engineering. The Watch Knights and the Steam Creatures use common parts. That would explain how Scarlet gained control of the Watch Knights. Their obedience makes them perfect infantry units for assaulting a fortified location. Priory teams recovered this cooling rod from the Thalmanova reactor disaster. It's steeped in dragon magic. Scarlet and the Inquest turned a risky research experiment into a time bomb so they could study how it ticked. They also discovered new info about ley lines. If Scarlet is using that info to plan her next major attack, it's coming soon. It's so like Scarlet to ruin someone's big day. <sighs> Poor Queen Jenna, celebrating ten years of rule only to have it marred by killer automatons. Is that Watch Night piece safe, Marjorie? I hate having any of Scarlet's machines in the bar. Don't fret, Angel. 
Ever since Queen's Jubilee, it's been quiet as a corpse. I think our friend is on to something. Hmm, not bad. The clockwork horrors from the Jubilee must have been Scarlet's second draft. Scarlet got crafty. Instead of pairing up two splinter factions, she stole an entire fighting force, and then she upped the ante with that giant marionette. You don't need that kind of firepower unless you're going to attack something really big. Scarlet converted part of the Nightmare Court Arbor into her own personal airship factory. She also tormented the Silvari firstborn, Kate. She formed this alliance in part to develop hybrid weapons with maximum destructive potential. Now she has an arsenal of advanced weapons and an air fleet to deliver them. No city is prepared to defend against an aerial attack, not even Lion's Arch. It's been almost a year since the Molten Alliance attacked the Shiver Peaks. Dredge and Flame Legion together. Who'd have imagined it? Look closely at how they combine Dredge mechanical knowledge with the Flame Legion's fire magic. So Dredge sonic technology can be used for probing underground. And Scarlet's been looking for ley lines with those probes. She's, She's after, after the ley lines, lines underneath Lion's, Lion's Arch. Arch. Oh, Dragon Bash was supposed to be festive, until Scarlet killed people with her flying pirates. Keel did an excellent job documenting the assassination of Counselor Theo Ashford during Dragon Bash. You should really return this case file before she notices you purloined it. Hmm. Scarlet plotted to kill someone on the Captain's Council to make room for her puppet. With Trin in place on the Council, she could have weakened the city's defenses from the inside. <sighs> that plan backfired, but Trin escaped to the mists to prepare for something. This is Synergetic's headmaster, OMAD's isolation module. A Silvari named Kiara went in, Scarlet came out. I reverse engineered an image of Kiara's aura patterns before and after. The schism is pronounced and dramatic. Kiara encountered something that literally broke her mind. But the only things in there were things she brought. I surmise she was directly exposed to a part of her own psyche that had been carefully walled off, perhaps for her own protection. We'd need to do far more extensive study of the Savari dream before I could draw any more detailed conclusions. What I can conclude now is that she's preparing to strike. Mark my words, Scarlet's next attack is planned and ready. I'll never forget how close we came to disaster. When I think about those spores spreading their toxins across Tyria, it boils my blood. The Nightmare Court and Crate do make a volatile combination. Scarlet popped some horrifying alchemy there. This sample is resistant to the antitoxin we used against the Nightmare Tower poison. Jory, we didn't stop her plan. We just showed her how to make a stronger poison that could wipe out an entire city. Let's review the evidence. Kiara entered Omad's device, saw something terrifying, and emerged as Scarlet Briar. She came out insane, but there's a method to her madness. We know from Thalmanova that she's researching magical energy and ley lines. She's used Molten Alliance Magitech to locate ley lines. We know that there are ley lines in Lion's Arch, among other places. She's built her own personal army. Crate and Nightmare Court. Pirates and Inquest. Dredge and Flame Legion. And most of all, her clockwork horrors. 
She tricked her subordinates into doing her bidding with promises of power, resources, or other gains. She modified her poison to be resistant to our antitoxin. She could use it against an army or a city. My Trin is preparing the Aether Blades in the mists for a big attack. There's a mist's portal in Lion's Arch. Jory, Lion's Arch is her target. We have to warn Ellen. I'll warn her. I'll let you know when I hear back. Make your preparations. Everything has been building toward a single, devastating attack. May the gods show us mercy. Finished with that. So, how did you two meet? About six months ago, I was just minding my own business, and... She posted a Help Wanted sign, and I was looking for someone to help. So you met only six months ago. It seems like you've been together longer. I'd noticed her before that. Around the city. You had? You never told me that. So, you're a mated pair? <laughs> We're currently in negotiations. Come here, Frostbite. What about you, Rox? Anyone special in your life? No. There was once, but he was killed. I'm sorry. Was he in your old warband? Bram said you're a Gladium. Bram talks too much. Don't be mad. We're your friends. Yeah, what are friends for? If not for sticking our noses in each other's business. Okay, Lion's Arch is under attack. Don't try to seduce me with your womanly wiles. I'm leaving. That's right, run home to Mama. Oh, right. I believe this is another one where we have to, uh, enter from Gendarn Fields.
I'm going to try and avoid a lot of these enemies. Kill them all. Intimidated, Scarlet. Kill them all. Armored up. They picked on the wrong city. Um, this looks like a full-on invasion to me. I think you're right. They're killing anyone who hasn't evacuated yet. We have to get non-combatants out of here. Aether Blades. <laughs> Hopefully the canal ward gate to Kandaran Fields is still open. Citizens can flee that way. I'm not fleeing. I'm fighting. Fair enough. Then I am too. It's a good day. Protect my stock. If anything gets broken, I'll be taking it out of your hide. Shard down. 
We heal as one. One. Through that gate. Hurry it up, Evan. I have citizens here who need <laughs> this gate. Evan, move your Doliax. I need to get these people out of the city and shut down the gate. What? That's your problem? Don't worry, Shud. I got you covered.
that greedy? How did he shut down the gate? Never mind. Get to the city exits. I should have left him where I found him. Strength of the pack. Everyone, get aboard the airship. We are leaving. Relay that order. Keep fighting. We aren't losing the fort. Magnus, you're hurt, and the fort is gone. Get aboard now.
these guys have respawned, I'm just gonna run for it. Strong! Kill them all! We heal as one! Kill them all! Mm -hmm. 
strong. Vacate these <clears throat> premises. I believe this calls for lethal force. Oh, these poor people! We have to get them to safety! You can never have too much treasure. Evacuation site is that big field by the vigil keep. Mom, we're gonna find the biggest apple ever. Ah, could that have been any worse? We saved some, but how many people are still in there? I'm gonna break Scarlet in half. Hold on to that thought. It won't be long before we get another chance to go back in. Next time we save as many as we can. I'm not stopping until they have to carry me out. <sighs> Is it time yet? No, Bram. Be patient. We can't go in too soon. The miasma has to dissipate first. How come Marjorie's animal isn't working anymore? Seems Scarlet improved her recipe. She's an impressive alchemist. How do you think she doesn't do well? Make friends? Yeah, don't worry. I'm not going to talk to Vorp.
You're finally taking a break. Turns out I got a volunteer. Is that a golem? Don't knock it. It doesn't sleep, doesn't need to eat, doesn't feel demoralized by dying patients. The thing just showed up wanting to help. At this point, I could use it. Greetings. I am Helotron. I will be your designated health repair unit. Oh, no. <coughs> no, no, no. I am not getting worked on by a machine. Negative thinking impairs recuperation. Please remain calm. Now tell me where you are ailing. <coughs> are you joking? Does this unit match the appearance of a no-talent minstrel? Now report your injury status. Any delay could mean your expiration. Analyzing miasma aerosol. You can do that? Consortium programming offers basic analysis of chemical compounds. Analysis underway. Can you find a cure? For current late-stage patients, negative. However, infection appears to be counteracted by sub harmonics in a localized energy field. Where am I? A Lion Guard field hospital. <laughs> can barely breathe. Lungs and eyes feel on fire. It'll pass. You need to take it easy. Now I need your name and unit for the records. Drax Tenderstride, Private. Sixth Harbor Detail. <laughs> That's fine, soldier. Get some rest. He'll be gone in an hour. Add his name to the list. Lion Guard they've been pulling out of the city. Shh! Not around the civilians. I warned Keel. I warned them all. I told them Scarlet was going to attack the city. Did the Council listen? No. Because of them, your friends, your neighbors, dead. Now I know why he's Captain Magnus the Bloody Handed. He has the blood of all those innocent people in Lion's Arch on his hands. Heaven Nashblade? What is it? Shouldn't you be failing at your job somewhere? You've been hereby conscripted to Lion Guard service under General Emergency Statute 14. You're joking. Someone tell me this sorry idiot is playing a joke on me. For the duration of the emergency, you and Black Lion Trading Post agents will act as deputy quartermasters, outfitting all active personnel. And what if I refuse? What if I pull up stakes and leave you suckers in the dust? Considering you are now technically a Lion Guard supply officer, desertion would mean confiscation of your wares and summary execution. So, it's either get robbed blind by you Lion Guard or get hanged? Firing squad, actually. And it's not you or us anymore, Quartermaster Nashblade. Speaking of which, we need two dozen swords, a dozen axes, 20 shields, and 40 rifles. <sighs> Just tell me one thing. Keel is dead, right? Come on, give a guy good news. She and Captain Magnus are at a relief camp to the south, and your deputizing was Captain Keel's idea. Of course it was. You know, I'm opposed to conscription, but I think having to be a deputy quartermaster is a fitting punishment for him. Save that energy. We'll be leading the charge just as soon as a gust pushes the miasma out to sea. Damn miasma. It's almost that time. 
You ready, Bram? Ready to kill some bad guys and save some innocents? You even have to ask. <laughs> I just like to hear you say it. I'm ready. Out with it. think just killing Scarlet's minions will get me progress toward filling up that bar. I feel strong. Yep. Try and complete some events too. Some of them are definitely soloable. Oh! 
strong. Now that you're here, the enemy's in trouble.
kill them all! I feel... strong! Kill them all! Strength of the pack! I feel... strong! Strength of the pack. in fighting condition.
as one. Wrong. Strong! Wither!
pillage. As one. Kill them all. Kill them all! Strength of the pack.
Okay, we're almost there. Maybe I'll just run past these guys. Kill them all. Moving into position. Turbo sparks with an expected range. Increasing sonic resonance. No time for tricks or traps. It's time for you pests to just die. Pulling out all the stops in three, two, one. Behold, the best that Holomancy can provide, armed with an energy cannon to match. Here we go. Warm up the generator. Let loose the pain. Kill them all. I feel strong. Right. Faster. Okay, now I should be able to damage that hole. Oh. prioritization on energy preservation. Take a while. I don't have enough energy. There goes the fuel. Kill them all. Oh. 
Strength of the pack. Endurance drain. the hologram is not allowed you will be punished three times over dynamics statics synergetics no this will not do rerouting power from drilling to increase capacity for multitasking Energy expulsion continues to be an Armored issue, up. setting all emissions to scramble mode. Kill them all!
strength of a pack. We heal as one. Okay. I can 
that's how you want to play it. You can never have too much treasure. Hey, come back! I'm not done with you yet! <laughs> right behind you. Don't look back. Stay close, Kaznir. We're... Kill them all! I'm ready when you are, mate. We heal as one. as one. Good. We're all here. Yeah, just in time, too. Scarlet's wounded. Be careful. Just because she's down, doesn't mean she's out. All together, then? <laughs> all together. Let's finish this for good. Why don't you lead the way? We'll be right behind you. You're about to get your wish, Rox. Looks like the stone warband's within your grasp. As is glory for you, Bram. We'll do this together. Jory, I... I have a bad feeling about... Don't worry. I've arrested plenty of scum like her. Just look at you. All you heroes. And here, at the center... Little old me. Aren't you even curious about why I did it? All this chaos and destruction? It doesn't matter now. You're done. You failed. Wrong. 
Materia will bow before a new master. No. We'll stand together against any enemy. Yeah, we're Tyrians. And we don't like getting pushed around. <laughs> so, what now? You big, strong heroes going to take me to jail? Something like that. Jory, be careful. I'll do something, all right. I'll end this for good. That's it. Come and get me, if you dare. <laughs> Bram, talk to me. Your leg is broken. I know. I'll be okay. Go, get her. What? Go? No, I can't leave you here like this. It's too dangerous. We have to get you out of here. Go, Rox. It's your chance to get in the warband. You have to. I don't have to do anything. I'm not leaving you alone in such a vulnerable position. Jory? Jory! Oh, sweet Duena, help her. She's not... <laughs> you monster! Okay, if I'm really quick... Get back! This is my drill! Mine! Kill them all! Uh, I'll take you down with me if I have to! Wait. Oh. You can't get through my shield. I will finish what I started here. I will! Huh. I'll keep her occupied. You get in there and do what needs huh. to be done. You heal as one. I'm over here. Oh, princess. Is. I'll kill every last no, one I'm of you. No, I'm over here. You can't fool me. I've seen the other side of the eternal. You couldn't hit a city gate. Now you'll make this is the tower we're supposed to go. Jory! Oh, Jory, I thought you were... I thought... <laughs> Ash, love. I'm okay. Rox works in battlefield magic on me. It's okay, honey. I'm going to be okay. I guess it's a good thing you stayed behind, huh? Definitely a good thing, my friend. Definitely a good thing. All right, hero. That's enough cuddling for now. You better report this to Magnus. I bet everyone on the ground could use some good news. Huh? What the...
yak spit. We need to retreat. Whole place is coming down. Hurry! next. I've been invited to the dead end for a celebration. Don't try to seduce me with your womanly wiles. What you got there? I'm leaving. That's right. Mm. Run home Being to Kirk. Mama. I have one. Hey, look! It's Shiro Togachi. Wait. <laughs> look who's here. Greetings, my friend. We're celebrating Scarlet's demise. It's good you could make it. Relax, Bram. Sit down. If you keep standing on that leg... Better ease up on that leg, B. 
or it won't heal right. It doesn't hurt anymore. Is that why you make that bear noise every time you sit down? That's just the spirit moving in me. <laughs> <laughs> A toast to the hero of the hour and all. Yay! <laughs> oh, yeah. So, tell me, how did it feel to stomp the evil snot out of Scarlet? <laughs> oh no, you did not just. <laughs> Hi, what's so funny? Hey, who let the rabbit out of its cage? That's not funny. Join us, Tiny. We're celebrating our victory over Scarlet. Would you like some juice? I suppose we should celebrate while we still can. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Come on, kid. What are you talking about? You know, don't you? Scarlet wasn't just fooling around. You know something? Tell us. Yeah, Scarlet woke a dragon up. It's not any of those ones. Much as I loathe to even entertain the idea, I do believe you're right. And here we thought Scarlet was the worst of our problems. I'm not afraid of no dragon. Bran? I'll have to take you to the Bran sometime. No single warrior can stand alone against a dragon. Fortunately, we have each other. <laughs> <laughs> what? With you on our team, Squeak, how could we possibly lose? That bear in here. <laughs> uh, 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 don't make me laugh. Hey, that's my line. We'd better feed that bear before it decides we're food. And I requested a roast chicken from the kitchen. We'll eat soon. Little Miss Margie, have you any idea how difficult you've been making my life? Mother never shuts up about you. I told you never to call me that. <laughs> you told me lots of things, sis. Sis? Jory, is this your sister? Yes. Come on in, Belinda. Say hello to my friends. It would be my pleasure. Hi, Marjorie's friends. You're the <gasps> band that took out Scarlet. I'm honored to hello, meet you all. Hello, hello, hello. <sighs> Congratulations on killing Scarlet. That Silvari was trouble with a capital T. So how are you? You're looking a little skinny. <laughs> oh, gods, don't tell Mama that. Besides, look at you, getting fat in that cushy new serif post of yours. Oh, I don't think she's fat at all. Why, thank you. My sister's always been jealous of my voluptuous figure. She used to call me Big Belly. Only because you called me Little Miss Margie. Like I was some snooty noble or something. Oh, you were snooty. Marjorie used to order me and all the other kids around, even though she was the youngest. What's this about Mama fretting? Oh, you know how she gets. And when she heard you'd been in the fight against Scarlet, well... She sent you to check on me. I'm to report back this evening. I can't stay long, my dear. I'm just here to count your limbs and listen to your heart. So, how is your heart? Strong as ever. What do you think of Casimir? She's beautiful and charming, but isn't she from a noble family? She used to be. Her family lost its titles under tragic circumstances. She's one of us now. She works for me. I see. Well... 
in that case, I wish you and her every happiness. I can see that you care deeply for her. Yes, I do. Congratulations. I'm happy for you. I heard you dealt the killing blow to Scarlet. You have my respect and gratitude. We're safe here. Goodbye, everyone. It was so nice to meet you all. Until we meet again. Did you get in trouble for roaming the camp? No. Yes. Zoja gave me extra calculations as a punishment, and I never got to see Scarlet. Sounds like Zoja cares about you. No, she doesn't. She cares about her record. If I do well, it reflects positively on her as my college mentor. So you don't like Zoja's college? I was not designed to be in synergetics. I was designed for statics. I don't know what that means. It means I'd rather make stuff than talk about making stuff. Oh, yeah. Me too. Must be nice to have a sister. Looks valuable. Hey, Brown. Uh huh. You want to hear about the new Aether Phaser I invented for my golem? I modeled it after Scarlet's tech. Uh huh. It works just fine, but I have to keep adjusting the gorometer. Uh huh. I had to shave down the Minius array wheel in order to get it to fit on Scruffy, but I got it. Uh-huh. Next, I'm gonna make him a panmetric listening device so he can warn me in advance if someone's sneaking up on me. Uh-huh. Hey, Bram. Uh-huh. I like you. Because you're big and dumb. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Right, I forgot about this part. Uh, what you got there? Mmm, bean cake. I heard about girls like I you. I am one. Hey, look, it's Shiro Tagachi. Well, you're a charmer. Don't try to seduce me with your You're grumpy.
I will just waypoint over there. On behalf of the Captain's Council and this worthy assembly, welcome Zephyrites! I'm sorry Lion's Arch is still a work in progress, but key services have been restored and the Lion Guard are patrolling... No need to apologize, Captain. We came to offer our support and to assure you our trade agreement remains intact. To start, we're donating a shipment of much-needed supplies, which we have staged here on the docks. We're also organizing a series of attractions, with a portion of the proceeds going to the Lion's Arch Relief Fund. That's very kind, sir, and much appreciated. We should withdraw to the Council Chambers to discuss details. But first, let me introduce you to some of the heroes who prevented the total destruction of our city. I present to you the team of Casimir Mead, Marjorie Delacroix, Bram Erson, Rox, and Timey, I believe? That's right! Timey and Scruffy! Pleased to meet you, Mr. Important Zephyrite. I would love a chance to inspect... Smile and wave, Timey. Just smile and wave. Please? Along with their leader, these brave people have been the city's staunchest and most effective volunteer defenders. They brought down Scarlet Briar once and for all, and they did so at considerable cost to themselves. I am honored to meet you all. In the face of such barbarity, the cause of peace requires formidable defenders. I hope you all enjoy the diversions at Labyrinthine Cliffs. I understand there are also amusements in Divinity's Reach. Aye. Queen Jenna has generously reopened the Crown Pavilion, and is also donating the proceeds to Lion's Arch. Splendid. We have arranged for transport between the cliffs and the human capital for whoever desires it. Can we just go straight to Divinity's Reach? Scarlet pretty much ruined the Crown Pavilion for me last time. By all means, experience the attractions in any order you choose. Heroes at a festival definitely help draw a crowd. Hear, hear. The Council appreciates your participation and the positive impact it creates. Enjoy the festival! Well, our mission is to enjoy ourselves and to be seen doing... What's next? I say we go. How's the leg? It's fine. And before you ask again, no, I don't want one of your good luck charms. You know one of mine won't work. It has to be personal. I wish you'd let me help you pick one out. Otherwise, you're gonna get injured again. Once misfortune finds you, it doesn't just go away. You have to counter it. Wolf's tail, is this what they mean by being mothered? I'm suddenly glad mine was never around. Somebody's in a sour mood, but I know a cure for crankiness. Bashing things to benefit Lion's Arch. I like the Zephyrites, and I like seeing your face healed. I appreciate the concern, but please, Enough with the fretting about my face. It was a lot more than a cosmetic injury, and you know it. I thought you were dead. Never scare me like that again. So, do I get to come along this time? Or are you going to sideline me in some camp again? Nobody sidelined you. With all the miasma and aether blades and whatnot, we were trying to get people out, not bring them in. You should have known better. I followed Scarlet's progress for months. Did you really think I'd miss her big finish? Be glad you did. Some of us were there and still didn't get to see it through. That's because I wasn't there. Let that be a lesson to you. 
Never make a move without Tiny and Scruffy. Yeah, I'll think about that. Anyway, I'm off to the Divinity's Reach attractions. I'll see you around, kid. Are you going to the festival? Bram said I could go. Did he now? From what I've heard, you have a slight problem with the truth where Bram is concerned. Jory, be nice. Of course you can go. Miss Delacroix is naturally suspicious. Pay her no mind. Oh, I won't. But Bram wants to go see Divinity's Reach, and I'd rather see Zephyrite stuff. Can I go with you? Where are your actual legal guardians? Didn't Progeny Protective Services assign someone to you? They know where I am, obviously. But let's just say I released myself on my own reconnaissance. Okay, that is the end of Living World Season 1. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.